Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to create user suspense functionality in Laravel application. So basically you can ban and revoke the user. Okay, so let me show you the demo first before started the example. So let me go here and I'm logging as a super admin and you can see that there is a list of users. I can just suspend the user from here. So if I click on it, you can see that user suspended. Now let me go and log in this user. So let me go here, go to the windows and yeah and then if i click on login let me add the password for that user so 69 and click on login you can see that user account is suspended so something like this types of functionality i'm going to give you so let's get started with an example okay now what we will do so i few days ago i already published multi-auth uh, authentication system example so i'm going to start from there because if i go here and click on the login there is already admin account so click and login and the admin user can only access the products users orders and the sales menu okay so i can go and start with that so if i click on users then that should be the list of users and where you can uh, suspend the user okay suspend the user okay so let me go here and start from the existing application so i already configured database and everything you can see over here okay so first of all i will create live wire uh, Okay, so I will create the live wire components of PHP, artisan Mac, live wire, and then I will say user list. Okay, hit enter. You can see that it's created live wire user list class. So let me go here and create route for it. So let me go here and I will say route, get route and users. And then I'm going to use user list that we created a class and then i'm going to add middleware first so i'm going to add middleware so only this route can access by the admin save it and now let me add the name okay so i will say users dot index save it okay and now let me go here you can see that here we added users menu so right now it's just uh, redirect to the dashboard but we need to redirect to the users that we created okay so let me go to the resource component layout app and there is a sidebar okay and if i go here and yeah there should be a menu that we already declared over here yeah that's over here so i will say route will be users dot index okay and then let me give the name users and there should be the products okay let me change it okay and then you can see that current so that means they should be uh, by default that should be a selected so let me go here and i will say just users dot index so that means when you go into the user space that should be the menu selected save it now let me go and refresh and click on users you can see that user menu is selected right now our page are the empty okay so now let me go here and add the some data over there so go to the live wire user list you can see that the div is empty so first of all i will go here and take the partial i will take the heading so copy this and put the heading over there okay so yeah why it's not copy so see okay and then let me paste it over here and i will say just users and manage all the users save it okay and now let me go here and refresh you can see that users and manage all the users okay now what i will do i will go here and go to the app live wire and user list here i'm going to get all the users and list of the users okay so i will say users user column column get okay and then i'm going to pass that all the users into the blade file so users dollar users save it okay now let me go to the user list okay and here i am going to create new table so i will use dw table that already i created a snippet and id then i will display the name then i am going to display email of the users and then i will also display created at okay and last action okay then i will go and i will use for each attribute and that should be the dollar users user save it 
okay let me put it over here go save it and let me remove some spaces over here okay and let me make it formatted and then i'm going to display the id of the users dollar user id and then dollar user name then i'm going to display dollar user email address okay then i'm going to display as well created at okay save it okay and now let me go and refresh it you can see that there is a list of users but uh, still design is not look good because we haven't started uh, npm run dev so real time run the css okay so hit enter yeah and if i go to the refresh you can see that proper table displaying like add it and delete button okay now what i will do i will add one more button over here that's called suspend okay so let me go here where user can suspend so copy this and here i'm going to say suspend okay suspend okay save it okay and now let me go here you can see that suspend okay so you can suspend the user okay so now what i will do when i click on it via click and it says suspend okay save it okay and then i'm going to pass the user id as well so let me go here dollar user id save it and then i'm going to create new function inside user list component so i will say suspend and here we are going to get id okay and then what i will do i will get the user from the id so i will say user find user id save it okay and then let's just debug it okay so we are getting user or not save it okay now let me go here and click on suspend you can see that over here okay there's a users with you can see over here is like uh, just simply display the object this is the name user so if i click on it you can see that i can get the user object okay now what i will do i will take another column that's called suspended at and that's column like uh, when you suspend that means we just dis, uh, store the current uh, timestamp and based on that we are going to check so what i will do i will create new migration php artisan mac migration and i will say add suspend add at in uses table okay so now you can see that it's created a migration now let me go here and go to the database migration and you can see that for the users table so what i will do table timestamp and suspended it okay and by default that will be a nullable save it okay same thing i'm going to when you roll back the column should be drop okay so drop column and i will say suspend dead at okay save it okay so copy that maybe spelling mistake yeah suspended at save it okay now let me run the migration so php artisan migrate migration is running let me go to the database and the refresh let me maybe i connected the different database so let me go here go to the yeah 12 multi so yeah this is different database so let me connect it again go to the table plus okay and then i'm going to say multi and click on connect and go to the users and you can see over here if i select the row suspended at the column added over here into the database okay now what i will do when we are click on the suspend then it should be call one function that's called suspend from the user model okay so let me go here and uh, yeah let me okay go and go to the model users and here i'm going to say first let me add to the fillable okay here i will say suspended at save it okay and then i'm going to say function okay and suspend okay remove this one what i will do this suspend dead at equal to now okay that means we updated current timestamp and then i will say dollar this save and save it okay so same thing i'm going to use a list and here i will say just user 
suspend okay suspend function i am going to call save it okay after that i am going to pass flash message session flash okay and then success user suspend dead okay save it okay and now let me go to the user list bladder file and here i'm going to display the session variable so i will just use my snippet and success variable print okay save it now let me go here and if i click for this user okay and click on suspend you can see that user suspended and now let me go here and click on refresh and go to the users you can see that it's updated current timestamp okay and same thing this button should be a change like unsuspend okay like once user will suspend then they should be a rollback as well okay so let me go here here and what i will do i will go here and here i will be add one condition okay so i will say if here i will be use user and i will create new function is suspended is suspended okay so that means i need to create new function so copy this and here i'm going to create remove this one simple return this suspend dead okay add then it should be a true otherwise it should be a false okay save it okay and now let me go here and i will say just copy this paste it over here okay and that should be called un suspended okay save it and i will use the else as well so i will say else and inside the else i am going to put this paste it save it and now let me go here into the application you can see that buttons become unsuspended so i will make it uh, not uh, like green it's a danger color so let me go here and let me put it uh, green color so instead of red i will use green and then i'm going to say green this as well let's see if anything else yeah here is also dark bg red green save it okay and now let me go here you can see that it says unsuspended okay and now if i click on it that should be a again button should be a toggle that should be a suspended okay so that means if i go here and go to the click event okay here i will check if dollar user is suspended okay then what should be happen that should be call new function that's called unsuspended okay so that means i need to create a new function okay so copy this and let me go to the user model and here i will say unsuspended and same thing i will copy this code okay paste it over here instead of now i will put null it so it will be back to the again unsuspended okay save it and if there is not suspended that means it should be a suspended save it okay and this flash message for this and if that's unsuspended so that means i will say unsuspended this is cool right save it now let me go click on that mm, there is a problem <clears throat> is suspended maybe the problem is that spelling mistake might be yeah save it click on suspended yeah does not exist in the list so yeah i made a mistake over here that's called user object save it click on unsuspend yeah final user unsuspended and if i click on it you can see that it's suspended if i click unsuspend let me go here and refresh it go here you can see that it's become null so now you can see that like it's very showing very simple button so i want to add some icons over here so laravel by default using flusk icon so let me go here and go to the icon so how can we use the icon so let me go and put the icon okay so it's uh, design looks perfect so let me go and that should be a x circle okay save 
and let me make it some space over here and go here and yeah that's icon is coming but it's not in the same line so what i will do i will add some class over here four and this is all tilewind css class whatever design you want to add that uh, you can add it flex i'm going to use item center you can use it gap to save it now let me go here you can see that it's single line but button are going away so let me go here and here i'm going to say flex and same thing i'm going to add items center okay and gap will be here yeah, too save it okay you can see that it's in the same line okay same thing if i go and you can see that it's suspended user but there should be a, some icon so copy this and i will use icon library from here hero icons okay so let me go here and i will use check icon for this save it and let me go here you can see that but it's not still in the same line so maybe we need to work for this but right now i'm going to keep this as it is okay save it same thing yeah sorry i forgot this one save it and same thing i need to add it save yeah this is cool okay if i click on suspend yeah you like it's rollback now i can suspend it okay now this user should not able to log in right now if i go here and go to the new window and localhost login okay maybe i can do like uh, log out log out this screen so i don't want to use the new screen just user and click on login i am able to log in and you can see that there is a no issue even i am suspended because let me go here and i can show you refresh go here it's already suspended so what i need to do let me log out from here so i will go go to the login file so let me go here and there is a already auth login and here i need to add the code okay so what i will do i will get the user because after authentication i can get from the auth okay so i will say log user and then i will say dollar user is suspended okay then what we need to do auth con colon log out okay then the user should be log out and then i am going to pass message and that's call user account is suspended okay so that means this is the message save it now let me try with the login with that user so let me go and i will see user and click on login you can see that user account is suspended so that means this user will no longer log into the system okay let me refresh click on admin go to the users and let me roll back it okay so you can see that now user unsuspended let me log out and try with the login okay so click on login i will say just user password is the same click on login you can see that he is able to log in so you understand how easily we can uh, user like ban and revoke and suspended or unsuspended whatever you can say so if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys